gone, the opening they hatch. Let's again check in with the picture that is just amazing. Opening the hatch to the outer space and seeing him getting out of the uh, orbital module in, in the EVA space suit. To turn. It does, is it the case? No. No. You it's just, not. It's, it's you actually can be very a normal easy. person to perform. Even very light pressure applied well, for a period of time. He's waving his hand. Just, yeah. just then he's waving his hand. A, a hand, a waving that should be taken as a very historic picture. You were saying that a normal person can actually perform. Oh, it, it, it's not difficult mm -hmm. at all. A slight pressure applied for several seconds will accelerate your, your astronaut. Protect the pa particularly put, put through these things. Mm. So that needs some strength. Mm. That's talking about uh, they need uh, a little And they have force. actually trained this uh, move here on the ground. Yeah, they do. Yeah. So what happens if you are someone untrained, unprepared, and you are sent into space? Can you do all this stuff? The, the natural reaction of an untrained person would be to overdo everything because they're accustomed to fighting against gravity on the ground. So it would be There is no possibility you can uh, finish your mission without training. You would bump your head a lot. <laughs> you would. <laughs> the first time you pushed off from the wall of your spaceship cabin, you would crash into the opposite okay. wall. Okay, because you pushed too hard. Yes. Uh, this is the historic moment of handing over of some of the materials. It's interesting to watch the, uh, the footage of uh, astronauts who've been in space for, for many weeks. Mm. You see them uh, a scene in the interior of the space station, and they just sort of, they, they gently push off from one wall, and then they just touch the wall with their fingertips from mm -hmm. time to time to steer themselves. There's almost no effort involved. So this is a stunt they learn in space. It's, it, you can learn the theory before you go into space. But you have to feel it, it to it, do that's it. That's right. That's right. Well, this is the Trajagon finishing his EVA and getting back into the orbital module. There he goes. I think this video must be played over and over again in the coming days. <clears throat> Let me remind you, this is a recording of the previous EVA done by two Chinese Taikonauts on board the Shenzhou 7 spacecraft. When we are watching this recording, actually, uh, the two astronauts uh, who stayed in the orbital module are going through their repressurization process. Space material science is one important branch of the space science mm -hmm. because materials, when it's so, uh, exposed to the space, the characteristics of the material change a lot, especially the lubricant, mm. perhaps uh, totally different. Uh, Features. So if you don't have that expectation, it may have problems. Yeah. Well, this is the picture that we just uh, wowed the about. Sunset. The sunset in sunset. space. Uh, and gleam the spacecraft with golden color. <laughs> this is unbelievable, a picture that should surprise and dazzle everybody watching it. If you, uh, if you actually go outside at night and watch a satellite as it undergoes, you'll see that the satellite will briefly turn red yeah, before it disappears. Yeah, at a moment, yes. it's glittering the sun 
light. Well, at four four PM. Is Jai Dragon taking off uh, his uh, layers of layers of suit <coughs> and to look normal again? So definitely Jai Dragon has received a command from the ground to perform uh, this procedure. The next step, of course, is to open the hatch between the orbital module and the re-entry module because the pressure now between the two sides should be equal. The thing that I want to know the most is how are you feeling right now? I also want to ask you about your work conditions. We all feel very good, and all the space experiments have been going smoothly according to schedule. The spacewalk was carried out successfully. Please have faith in us. After you've got out of the airlock module, how did you feel? The spacewalk felt really good and the spacesuits was very comfortable. I was very proud of our country. Please work hard and continue to have a high spirit and accomplish the tasks. We are looking forward to your safe return. Please believe in us. We will fulfill our mission successfully. Thank you, President Hu. Thank you.